if a, it doesn't have enough mineral in it, it's not going to make enough money for us. We want to make sure that it has enough in it to make money. So we'll come down here and give an estimate on the grade for it. Something like this will probably range probably about 6 to 8 percent zinc and maybe one and a half uh, wet. It's all based on weight percentage. So something like that will make money. Uh, at Brush Creek, we have one of the lower cost mines, and we can mine about two and a half percent is the lowest we'll go. Most of this stuff is all stall. Uh, dull lights, like down here, you see a little bit scattered in down here. Uh, a little bit of zinc. But uh, we're asking them, why are we taking all this stuff? We don't need it. Uh, we have to. The drills, like you see, they're only so big. Uh, you can only pull so, so short as you can. Uh, about 14 feet is the lowest we'll go. Uh, so we have to take the rest of it. Uh, if we could, we'd like to just say that portion right there, but we can't. Uh, we just have to get all the equipment in. This is uh, pretty typical for a breccia creek. Uh, this is uh, not what, what they call a breccia. A breccia is more broken off than you can see it everywhere. Uh, this is more of uh, what they talk about, the blanket style, where it's all just one layer, uh, pretty thin. Uh, so in the later portions of mining life, you get more of this and less breccias. Uh, the breccias are in the same taller areas, about 20, way to 80 feet tall. And that's where you see a lot of pill recovery, where you have a higher grade lead. Uh, uh, of course, some of these pills that we're taking are 10, 15 percent lead up in Butte. They're sometimes 30 percent lead. Uh, so those are where you get your higher grade stuff, but you still get a good grade stuff in a much smaller portion. And your later portions are mine. But like you see, he was drilling here. He'll put several rows of holes. <coughs> He'll put bigger holes in the middle of burn to not load those explosives because you got to leave room for the rock to go to when it explodes. So we'll time it all out to all of the set. So he'll drill about uh, 13 to 15 feet, but he'll break about 12. Hopefully, so we're advancing 12 feet each round. And this is a good style, uh, what, you, what you call room pillar. Uh, you got your faces here, you got pillars that sit over there, so you'll advance and hopefully you'll be able to turn a 30 foot pillar all the way around. So I'll take about, <coughs> depending on how bad the rock is, or how bad the drill it is, take about an hour, hour and a half to drill out one of these settings. And then a charge man will come behind him with a rig and load him with a uh, ammo, either dry ammo or motion, uh, kind of like slurry, uh, almost like a blue uh, pink milkshake. Uh, yeah. uh, you use water to, to, eat, to help uh, with the drilling process, and uh, flush out the holes, use the cuttings out, and also keep the dust down. <laughs> All of our drills, or most of the drills, they run off uh, electric. Uh, they're the only piece of equipment that run off the electric. Everything else runs off the diesel. But since the drill, since the drillers sit in one spot for so long, we don't want to fill the area with uh, diesel smoke, and so they'll have them run off electric. But he'll drill about three or four of these a day, and uh, hopefully break around uh, 15 to 2,000 tons. Each round will break about 500 tons. So hopefully he'll drop out three or four of those a day. Uh, charge man will come in behind him, charge those, and then shoot at the end of the shift, shoot twice a day. <laughs> so we have I think, three or four other drillers, and so they're doing this at all over the mine. So the goal is to break 2,500 to uh, uh, 5,000 tons. Uh, we use uh, stick dynamite still. Uh, for wet holes, and sometimes we prime with this in the back of the hole. Uh, we do use a product now called Emotion. It'll work in the wet holes, it's cheaper, it's about half the price of dynamite. So we're trying to get all the guys to start using the Emotion product, get where we don't use the most. Hey, Rip, bring it over here. So, uh, anyway, uh, like Ampo, we'll use about 100,000 pounds of that a month. The other 30 will use dynamite and a bolster. So. We just use different size inch and a half, about 24 inch sticks. I think that down there is probably 2 inch, I'm not sure. Yeah, 2 to 16. Uh, 
non-electric uh, delays. <laughs> and uh, basically, like I said, in that swing, you saw that guy drilling. We shoot the middle first. So we'll start in with a, like an instant. And then as we go out, we'll go with larger delays. You know, he was drilling a 14-foot hole, 16-foot steel, about drilling about a 14-foot hole. We want him to drill that where when we shoot it, it, all 14 feet of that break. Because, well, one, it's more volume. And two, if it adds to our cost, if he only breaks, if he leaves three foot bootleg, then that's actually, you gotta drill it over again. That's extra cost to, to do that. So basically, we put your uh, primer on the end, you, you cram it to the back of the hole, uh, in the hole it's supposed to be in, and then you blow it, and then we have a, uh, we, put, we have ampho, we have a pot on our rig, it's full of ampho, and it's air pressurized, and you blow the hole full of ampho. And then, uh, let's say it's a dry round, except for the lifters, which you have to drill down, they're wet, you have to use stick powder on that or emulsion. You have all the holes loaded, you have all these leads sticking out of the holes. Well then we use a deck cord and clip them in with our box, and then, uh, run it out and then how we set our rounds off at the end of the shift is we have uh, fuse caps uh, burns about 45 seconds per foot we have about a five foot fuse we tie it, we tape it on the primer cord or tie it on and light it two guys light it and leave and then boom this is basically going to be a pillar area all these pillars you see it come out but the geologists had come in here uh, cord drilled part percussion drilled part and they found a little 7,000 ton uh, ore body down below our roadway there, so that's what we've done. We've come in here, mine this uh, 7,000 tons, uh, get it all cleaned up, rescale the area, and then we'll be ready to take some pillars out in here. Keep in mind, falling is the best thing because if we get stuck, oh. that really sucks. <laughs> 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 Take It's going to be real damn bright here in a second. Shine my light in my eyes. It's a little while. It's coming. It's kind of conglomerate. It's a little bit windy. It's a little bit of a swell. You watch it. It's a little water drop. It's actually a little long. That's it. Really? Yeah, it's like carrying the water drop. Whoa! It ain't even sunny out. Let me know if they can use it.